Now this is pretty easy to do if no wind is involved, but now let's put a little bit of wind in there. We'll say the wind is coming from the northwest, and on your heading indicator, while you were flying 360, in order to fly that course, the wind blew you off course. So your real course is a line that looks straight like this, but while you were flying, the wind blew you off course, like this. What happens is, remember, the needle represents the line you're supposed to be flying on. So that needle would end up moving off to the left, like this. Because you are represented by this center circle, and it shows that your course is to the left. So therefore, you would need to turn the aircraft to the left in order to re-intercept that course. Now, when you turn the aircraft to the left, it, the best thing to do is to choose a heading that you should select to fly you back to that course. Because if you only just turn the aircraft to the left, you may find you just go around in circles, and that wouldn't make much sense. So we need to you know, choose a logical heading that would help us merge back on this course, and then we can continue our flight. So the easiest thing to do is remember that you're represented by the center circle, and you need to fly toward this line. And over here on the side, you, you might have 330, and 300, and 270. So if you flew a heading of 330 degrees, you would have a 30 degree intercept to merge back onto that line. And so you would, you, you set your course 360, you pick a heading, a, a logical heading to intercept it, and then you apply that heading. So then you'd actually turn your aircraft to 330 degrees. So I usually think of set, pick, and apply. You set your course, you pick the logical heading that you want to fly, and then you apply it, you fly it. Um, once you get closer to your course, to merge back on that course, your needle will start trending back toward the center. And as it trends back toward the center, you could shallow out some of your, your intercept angle. For example, where you were flying 330 degrees, uh, maybe you could go 340 degrees or 345 degrees. But as the needle moves, you kind of move with it. Now, once you've got the needle all the way back to center, would it make sense to fly 360 degrees again? Not really, because if you fly 360, and you know the wind is from your front left, obviously it's going to blow you off course again. So once you get yourself back on course, you should fly a more logical heading, that's something that will keep you on that course. And maybe you try 355 degrees. And you can decide if 355 keeps your needle centered, then that's an excellent heading to keep flying. But if that needle uh, starts to move one way or the other, you probably need to reselect your, your choice heading so you can stay on that course.